Okay, okay, okay. I see you guys. A thousand likes on the previous flyout video, and I told you I would be making another flyout video, and we are here. You guys completely smashed that goal overnight, and yes. So we're going to be doing a massive project today. Um, I actually want to build a stealth fighter jet. Um, a real one. I'm going to be building the F-22 Raptor today. And yes, yeah, so this is going to take a while, I imagine. I'm going to have to learn so much about this game and do research along the way. But we're just going to get straight into it. Also, guys, I'm just going to turn off this camera and completely just, just build. I'm just going to not record any audio, just build, and then I'll record a commentary. Let's get into the editor here and let's build this plane. All right, guys, let's get into the build here. So obviously create a new craft. We have the pilot default set here, grabbing our fuselage. We just want to grab pieces and start working on the shape. Just place one down. I'm just going to change the size and start working on the very unusual nose shape of the F-22 Raptor. Obviously, I'm using a reference image for this. I try my best to get the shape down to, to a T. It's so difficult and such a tedious process. I think I spent like an hour alone just figuring all of this out. Um, and then obviously, look, I've made this flat, but I want to make this a point. So there we go. If you set the uh, X, Y values to zero, you can get a very pointy point there. And that's looking good. That's in place. Adding some more fuselage parts. We want to start making the, the rest of the frame around the cockpit. Just want to get that resized. There we go. I can just copy and paste the nodes over like that. Apply it and it just copies what you've done previously. And you can just extrude it and elongate everything. Obviously making it nice and pointy at the back too. Because we do need to start working on the engines at some point. Oh, just finalizing the... Um, the nose there just making it a little bit more round with adding some loop segments and kind of just you know making the shape a little bit more dynamic because i didn't want it too pointy i don't want a polygon plane you know but here we go just making everything fit right just doing this tiny tiny details i'm adding a fuselage now which is going to be the start of my engine exhausts and the intakes my first plane i did on the last flyout video I had no intakes and patch bitch was like, dude, where's your intakes? So we're definitely adding the intakes here on the F-22, spending some time again on these little nodes, just dragging them across until I get the shape I want. I ended up going for this, this very straight line where it's all messy inside of the fuselage, but that's all hidden. So that's all hidden from view and uh, it just took, took me a t some time, you know? Also doing those like kind of indents or, you know, slants in the shape of the intakes just before the wings start. And I think we're starting to work on the canopy now. Yeah, there we go. So uh, grabbing a piece, making a custom canopy is, is quite difficult actually. Um, so you just want to reshape the fuselage canopy over the cockpit like this, over the player, just using his helmet as a reference actually. And then just extruding and duplicating the loops. So I'm gonna extend this part out and actually rotate it. So if I rotate it, I can get this slope, which is really nice. There we go. Can, can we get it? Yeah, <laughs> it's very fiddly, the controls. Remember guys, I'm a controller player and I'm playing keyboard and mouse just for this game. Um, but yeah, the more loops I add, and move around the more rounded i can get the canopy which we eventually get to this which took some time but it looks really good and now we need to kind of do the back half of the canopy so we're just extruding again keep using all of our tools here and segments you know duplicate and this back part is uh where i want to start like shrinking the size there we go if you shrink it down to more of a point uh, it kind of fins off really nicely. Well, now that we have the perfect shape, we can start changing the material. So obviously, this is just a big sheet of metal. So we're going to change this to glass. And we can do this by uh, changing the materials uh, there to glass. By selecting all of these little squares. All of these little panels. Until eventually you get something like this. 
which is crazy. And it looks really good, but obviously there's a bunch of metal sticking through Jimmy the pilot. So uh, we need to get that rid. So we're actually going to turn that to no material. So that's just a hole now. And then uh, kind of just perfect the shape. I spent some a lot of time moving these segments around. These little orange nodes. You just move them like this and kind of just kind of get them out of view. Just underneath the canopy where the canopy starts. And obviously making sure everything is nice and snug to the class shape. But eventually I get there until we get something really nice. Oh, this is my favorite part. We are starting on the wings now. So let's get the wings down. Got our wings in shape. I can just obviously pull on all of these purple nodes, get the shape I want. And then I can add the, uh, the edges to add our flaps. So we obviously get our flaps in place. I want to get the correct shape here, making sure I leave those little um, corners like cut off, obviously to be accurate. Oh, this is a good part too. So this I actually forgot to, to do until I was looking at the rear of the F-22. But there's actually these little strudes or like poles kind of sticking out from the side of the engines that obviously house the, uh, the hold onto the elevators. And I hope you guys are um, enjoying the uh, me getting a little bit more in depth with the, the right vocabulary, I, I can say, with these, these builds because <laughs> some of these terms are getting very technical. And obviously I'm a trail makers player normally. Now learning all these different like actual real things about planes and these different components is uh, new to me. So I hope you guys are appreciating that I'm putting in the effort. But obviously here we're putting in the engines now, get those in place. And I actually found that you can change the nozzle. And I found the perfect one for the F-22 Raptor, which are these bad boys. They are like 2D thrust vectoring engines. They can actually turn and swivel. So that's really nice for our thrust vectoring. I had no idea I was going to be doing thrust vectoring today, but we are. And obviously doing these tiny details, these little spikes. Uh, protruding just getting the shape around because they're like square adding these hinge joints to uh, let's just get them in place properly to put some wings on because the entire elevators on the f-22 rotate so we just want to stick a wing on this looks massive until i stick it on there we go <laughs> yeah it's so tedious look at this but i managed to snap that on nicely and then obviously change the shape of the elevators until we get the perfect perfect size again just trial and error and it just took me a while to kind of just perfectly shape everything out i want to let you guys guess how long this project took me because i spent a lot of time today building this f-22 so i'll let you guys guess down below how long this project took me um, but i am going to give you a clue it's in the hours <laughs> this took me a very long time but I got the angle pretty good on these elevators. Also, I was just messing with the the controls on the side here, uh, the options, because there was like these little poles uh, automatically on the side of the tails there. So I just, I had to get rid of those. That took me a while to find. But uh, everything's looking good. So it's now time to snap on the landing gear. So the first one's easy. Turn off our mirror mode and we just want to Put it, it's like kind of behind the cockpit. And then obviously just get the right direction so it goes forward. And I put that in there nicely. We've got our second ones on our rear, but they're just sticking through the wing. Like what am I supposed to do here? So I had to entirely change the shape of the F-22's fuselage to make it a bit more chunky to actually hide the wheels inside. But yeah, doing some tests now. Um, yeah, I messed up with the controls. Only one of the engines was thrust vectoring through that, and it was going the wrong way. So I needed to change that really quick and obviously add my controls to the next engine. My yaw was actually wrong way around too, but I think now we are successful in all of our controls. We even have landing gear. Look at that. It actually works. Also, look at this. It looks so horrible. Look at those intakes. <laughs> you can just see straight down there. So to fix that, I actually um, I mess around with the fuselage a little bit more and extrude them back into the plane. 
just to give it a little bit more definition. And obviously we need our fuel because we had no fuel. I actually tried to take off there. We had no fuel. So to do that, we add a sphere inside. I'm just going to flatten it out like a pancake. Let's stick it inside and uh, hopefully the center of mass is all good. Obviously I've done so many adjustments to this thing. But I think we are good to start decorating this thing. So let's just get this canopy down to a nice orange tint. There we go. Oh, you can make planes look so pretty in this game. That's something I really appreciate Flyout. They make like their customization options pretty cool. But now let's get on to the painting. So I'm going to let you guys watch a little montage here of me painting the F-22. guys we have finally finished the f-22 raptor here it is um yeah i just painted it up really really nicely took me so long to do this like triangle camo and i think it looks absolutely gorgeous but we are here now on the runway here i got my parking brake on so i actually learned that if you press full stop it is a toggle of your brakes but if you hold b uh, it's your brakes too, but you have to hold it. If you let go, it stops working. Let's, let's get this in the air. And there's also a few little surprises I've added uh, just after the painting. You'll see. I'll, uh, I'll get in the air, but let's just go. So let's get our shift going. And let's just try and maneuver ourselves on the runway a little easier there. I don't have any uh, steering in the wheels because it's just too dense in the fuselage. But I can just use my yaw. And look at this. We're going so fast. So let's pull up. Wow. Whoa, okay, all right, okay. Landing gear in. 
Okay, it's a little unbalanced, so I can use my trim to get a minus one pitch here in the trim. And we are going so fast. Look at this. We're already nearly Mach 1. Look. Oh, look how beautiful this jet is. It is as accurate as I can possibly get it to the F-22 Raptor. I know it's not, like, down to, to the perfect shape. Like, this is a little girthy down here. <laughs> but that's because of the landing gear issue. But let's just go on a flight with this thing. We'll go until we run out of fuel. And I hope you guys just enjoyed this style of video. It's completely different to my Trailmakers content. You guys wanted to see this. So here you go. I've delivered. Let's go over to the mountains. Look how snowy this, these mountains are. Let's go over here. Okay, I also want to break Mach 1 in this. We can go supersonic. Here we go. There we go. Mach 1. We have broke the sound barrier. And how you can tell is that it's completely silent in front of the nose, which I absolutely adore. So cool. If I slow down, yeah, I can hear the engines. But once we break mock again, we can hear the sound or not hear the sound when we're in front. <laughs> Gets a little confusing. It's just beautiful mountainscape. I kind of just want to fly this thing around. Should we go for like a very risky Top Gun style through the, the canyons almost or through the mountains? feel like we should do this you can see the first vectoring is working look at that the so pitch and roll just assisted first vectoring on my maneuvering here but let's go i'm gonna knock my pilot out i'm going this quick all right we're going down and once we get down into this mountain valley i'm gonna show you the surprise all right we're going very dangerously low now 3,000 meters. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Oh, would you look at that? That's the su that's the sound barrier. Whoa. Did you see that? It looked amazing against the black mountain there. Oh, I'm going so fast now. Okay, the lower down I am, the more visible the sound barrier is. Which makes sense. The air is more dense. Can I, can I get that little... A little effect back, please. Okay, well, no. <laughs> you know what? Let's go this way. I'm pulling so many Gs. Okay, I think it's time to show you my surprise. So let my screen recover a little bit from my pilot being almost knocked out from the Gs. Okay, listen very, very carefully. Three, two, one. That's right. I added a 20 mil machine gun to this thing. <laughs> I have a thousand rounds in this F-22. Uh, the real F-22 only holds about 400, 500 rounds. But obviously this is a video game. I can add as many as I want. And there we go. Sound barrier again. But yeah, so I have... I have a machine gun. Which actually detects the ground and leaves like little, you know, like bullet... The impacts of the bullets. I don't really know how you explain that. Whoa, look at this. So cool. And also, that's not the only thing I have on this gen. Here's another surprise. Here's a second one. Let me get out of this. Oh, God, this is kind of nearly die here. We're flying very dangerously low. All right, let's let's uh, let's do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> I've got flares. I have my own flares. We got countermeasures, baby. Woo. Let's go. So cool. Wow, I'm just really enjoying how vast the, the mountainscapes are in this game, too. Like, how big is this world? I actually want to know. One day we're going to experiment. I have three less than three minutes of flight left in this thing. We don't have much fuel in this, unfortunately. But it does the job. Okay. Let's just do our flares because they look so pretty. And then let's do some beautiful camera views, I think. This is our first person. So, no interior details. <laughs> you see that big round can there? That's my ammo. That's my magazine. But yeah, there's no dials or anything, which I could have spent time on. But I've already spent a massive amount of time actually getting this thing to function and look beautiful. I'm happy with where it's at right now. Can I get some better cameras? Okay, here's a follow cam. That's actually a very pretty camera. How far can we zoom out? Ooh, okay, that's cool. Oh, flyby, here we go. Get ready for these cinematics, people. 
Off I go. Whoa! Did you hear that? That was the sound barrier. That was so loud. Ow. <laughs> Dude, can we do that again? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, here I am. Oh my god. It's like a flight show, guys. <laughs> camera can't keep up. I'm that fast. Okay, can I show off my flares in this awesome camera view? Yeah, there we go. I'm worried that I'm going to run out of fuel any second now, by the way. <laughs> it's too cool. I am slowly falling in love with this game, guys. Oh, I wish this was multiplayer. I have no idea if this is multiplayer, but if it is or ever will be, dogfights in this game will be legendary. Be so cool because I know you can get missiles. That's the one thing I haven't put on or tried yet. Missiles? Heat seeking missiles? Oh, so cool. And off I go. All right, let's get back into our cameras. Oh, I have a minute of flight time. I don't think there's any chance of me getting home. Where is the runway? There's the runway. If I get altitude, as much altitude as I can, maybe. Right? Maybe. Maybe I could just glide down. I have enough speed. I'm going 200 meters per second. All right, full throttle. 25 seconds of fuel. We can land this, right? We've got to land this for the final segment of this video. Also, let's just run out of fuel. Not fuel. Ammo. We're already running out of fuel. There we go. We're out of ammo. I see the runway. 6,000 meters. Nearly 7,000 in altitude. So there's the flyby camera again. Let's just get a beautiful flyby shot here. It's like a movie. You could literally rec recreate a Top Gun movie in this game. We have so much altitude to make this. We're fine. We're so good. This is good. Can I look behind the cockpit? Oh, no. Obviously, the seat. But you can see the edges of the wings. I hope you guys are proud of me, by the way. This, is a, this was a massive effort to build. But I think I know the ropes of making this game now. The only thing I need to learn now, which I might still need to ask Patch Bits for help with, is propeller planes because i don't know how that works yet i know you can just smack a propeller on but i don't know if there's any other things you need to do i know that there's different types of fuel but uh we're just gonna go for the coolest things first i'm gonna build all the cool jets first i think Wait, this is good this glides so well by the way like no hands on minus two in pitch with the trim the nose will point itself back up like that Doing a little bit of a, of a serpentine to try and slow down a little bit. I don't have any air brakes on this thing, and I'm pretty sure I, you can add some kind of air brakes. Uh, you can make your own air brakes, but uh, I haven't figured that out yet. But what I have figured out is the landing gear. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's try and land on the right runway. We're going to call this runway two. Okay, is it raining? I think it's raining. It's raining in game. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay. Oh, this is so smooth. We're going to butter the bread. I'm going to absolutely butter this landing. Easy. Okay. Gentle. Easy does it. Beautiful. Get the brakes ready. Brakes are on. <laughs> okay. Oh, I shot a flare by accident. I'm trying to use my yaw to keep me myself on the runway. And then parking brakes. Woo! We did it. We landed. We went on a full flight. We used the entire tank of fuel. I am so proud that I made this F-22 Raptor in flyout. This is my second build. To go from what I built yesterday to this just shows with dedication... And a lot of time, you can pretty much make any aircraft you want in this game. Leave your suggestions on what you guys want me to try next. Anything. N you name it. I'm going to try it. Like an SR-71 or a B-2 Stealth. That would be so cool. Definitely leave them down below. And thank you guys for watching and leaving a thousand likes on the last video. Let's try and get this video to a thousand likes. I never usually ask for likes before. It worked yesterday. So if we can get a thousand likes on this video, I'm going to be super happy. It just means you guys really enjoyed the, the content. 
time and uh hopefully i'm doing the right thing you know but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed watching me um build an f22 raptor today thank you so much for watching whilst you're at it why not consider subscribing it's free and as always i'll see you guys in the next one bye